All right, I am going to present both sides to this. We have a very small group of people uh, that actually got Regis Claymore, and an, an even smaller group of that group of people are the people that actually got it legitimately, as in you did not pay for someone to play on your account to get this gun. Okay, so that's a, a very small crowd. And then you've got this overwhelming, uh, very large size group of people that probably never took a step in the competitive playlist and rightfully so it's a shit playlist we've been asking for rank now since the dawn of time or at least in destiny's world i've been asking for rank for forever and what makes a rank playlist desirable is of course having that rank repped next to your name and simultaneously having rewards worth going after Bungie was going to satisfy us with both of those things this past season, and they somewhat did. They had some cool names. Fabled. Legend. And then they gave us the almighty Regix Claymore to obtain, which, by the way, is actually a kind of shitty weapon. It's got one good perk on it, Desperado. Outside of that, though, I would take many other high-impact pulse rifles over Regix. But many of us believed that one day there was going to be a meta shift a sandbox change and high impact pulse rifles were gonna rise again and boy were we right because we already pretty much know high impact pulse rifles are gonna be two burst in next season which is exactly why Bungie is giving everyone Redrix as Redrix bronze sword in the next season you see guys I called it man I called it a month ago I said that Bungie no way in hell is gonna allow for Claymore to become a meta weapon and not give people an easier opportunity to obtain it that's just not how Bungie works. Guys, think about it. Graviton Lance is meta. How easy is it to get the Lance? Pretty easy. It's just an exotic. Actually, I think you get that from the main storyline. My god, it's super easy then. Vigilance Wing, another meta weapon. It's an exotic, so it's really not that hard to get either. But let's let's just go back a little further. Let's take a step back about two years and let's look at the Clever Dragon meta. You remember when everyone had a god roll Clever Dragon? Did everyone just have really good RNG? No! Bungie gave that bitch out as a vendor roll because they knew that the weapon was meta and that it could kill anyone in 0.8 seconds. And so to give everyone a fighting chance, everyone got a clever dragon. Now this is not OG Bungie, like back in the day of D1 when grinding strikes over and over again to get that god roll hopscotch pilgrim meant something. This is the new Bungie, where they like to level the playing field. Now, I think normally I would be a lot more vocal about this, and I probably would be a little salty towards Bungie. And don't get me wrong, there is a level of salt there, but it's just the fact that the competitive playlist has just been really fucked up to begin with. You didn't have rank matchmaking, radar didn't exist, and there was no subclass limitation, so everybody was rocking an arc strider. So asking people to actually grind out in the competitive playlist and subject themselves to that shit is like asking people to put splinters in their dick. Now, as far as how Bungie is handling the Redrix broadsword situation, there is alternatives to this. To me, I think Broadsword could have been an exotic. This would have definitely gave more value to Claymore as it's a legendary. And given the fact that if Broadsword is brought to us in the year two layout, it's gonna be a lot better than what Claymore is in terms of having an applied mod, a masterwork that can scale even higher than our current masterworks, and an option for random rolls for magazine perks and barrel perks. So Broadsword is already set up to be much better than Claymore, which is why I think everyone that has a Claymore is very upset over this. Me personally, if you wanted to keep weapons like Claymore in rotation for competitive, I would be completely okay with that. Given the fact that the competitive playlist is going to be looking a lot better next season, you're going to have things like Radar coming back as well as a better Sandbox. And so keeping something like Claymore in rotation for next season would have been okay for me. The problem in how Bungie handled this is that it completely devalues the time and effort that you put into obtaining this weapon this past season, which is why so many people are salty about this. And for me, on a deeper level, it does make me wonder if Bungie is taking a step back on making the game more hardcore or not. So guys, that's my thoughts on the entire Redrick situation. Could it have been handled better? Sure. There's other solutions out there that probably could have been done in terms of how Broadsword is to be received in the next season. Should it have been an exotic instead of a legendary to still keep the value of Claymore? There's a lot of different solutions here. Unfortunately, I think we're so close to Forsaken that I don't think any of these changes could even be implemented right now. Regardless, what I hope is that the competitive playlist will never get into the state that it was in this past season 
to where if we do have exclusive rewards, more people would participate in going after them. So guys, those are my thoughts. I, I'm open for all suggestions. So feel free to let me know in the comments below on how you think this should have been handled. Would you have been okay with this gun being a season four reward alongside Luna's How? Or would you rather Redrick's broadsword just being exotic to still sustain the value of Redrick's Claymore? There's a multitude of options here and probably some I haven't even thought of. Either way, guys, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Oh.